Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back. Appreciate you so much for being here. We're going to continue on now with the Dow Chronicles with Caterpillar. Now, Caterpillar I haven't looked at in a long time, but we're going we're gonna to see what's going on here. First, we'll go over what they do a little bit here, in case, just in case you don't know. All right, so their sector is industrials, and they are harm and farm and heavy construction machinery. So they say manufacture and sell construction and mining equipment, diesel and natural gas generators, and industrial gas turbines, um, <coughs> like everywhere, okay? So they're, they're a pretty big, I don't think a whole lot of people do this. They're a pretty big deal. So let's see. Their stock today is $227. Now, the highest it's ever been, oh my gosh, looks like that was very recent. Oh my gosh. It looks like about $266, and that was actually in January. Wow, okay. So we got a high, an all-time high of $266 in January, and right now it's 227. So, okay, it's down a little bit, and that's interesting. And it's it's basically through the years, since like 1985, it's generally gone up. Had some big downs, but it's generally gone up. So, market cap, 117 billion. P.E. ratio, 17.95. Earnings per share, 12.65. Uh, dividend yield, 1.99%, okay. And the analysts say it's near fair value. Okay, I love that dividend yield. All right. Let's see what's going on with the revenue. Revenue was, um, it was up in 19, and, and then it went down, and then it went up two more. So down in 9, so it was really up in 19, down in 20, and then back to like better than ever in 22. So three years it went straight up. And the earnings went up a couple years down a little bit, you know. But all positive, all good numbers, okay? Not perfect, but good. So, the, you know, everything is doing well. So let's go to statistics and see what they say about the statistics. I'm a little curious here because I haven't looked at this in such a long time. So, profit margin, 11%. Operating margin, 16%. Return on assets, 7%. Return on equity, 41%. Let's go to cash and debt. Total cash, $6 billion. Total debt, $37 billion. Operating cash flow, $7.77 billion. Levered free cash flow, $3.5 billion. All positive. And the payout ratio, 36.55%. All really good. That is really, really good numbers. Really nice numbers. Very solid. Um, let's go to analysis here and see what they say. Okay, so the sales growth for this year, 7%. Next year, 2.6%. So that's, that's not very good. But it's not negative, you know? So... Um, the average earnings for the current year, 15.92. Next year, 17.19. That's great for the averages. And the average revenue for this year, 63 billion. Next year, 65 billion. You know, this, I mean, I'm not thrilled about the sales growth for next year, but you know what? Um, I don't care. This, this looks really good to me. You know what? I'm going to go to the financials for a second here. And I know the revenue's going up and everything. I just want to see. So from 2019, you got like, what is it? Okay, 53.8. And then you got 41. And then 50. And then 59. Okay, 59. Yeah, 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 yeah. So check this out. Total revenue um, on the trailing 12 month. Um, so what is that? I guess like 59 um, million. And then cost of revenue, 41. Gross profit, 17. Then minus operating expense, 8. And then operating income, 8. Then minus, oh, not much. A little uh, operating income expense and then other, in, okay. And you end up with, you know, pre-tax income. It looks like, um, what is that? 8, um, looks like 8 million. 752. I mean, I mean, this this is really good. 
Yeah, this is really good. Now, now, is it overvalued, right? Um, well, you know, there's a lot of different metrics to find out if it's overvalued, and, and people have a big opinions about that. But I'll, let me just throw this in there. At January 1st of 2021, which is over two years ago, it was 231, all right? Now, back before that, let's go back to, let's go back to like January 1st of 2018, it was 147. So, I mean, you know, it, it's, I think it's probably a little overvalued. Would I buy it now? Yeah, yeah, it's good enough to buy. It's not going anywhere. I think it might be a little overvalued, but if, if it is, I'm, I, you know, not too much, but, you know. If I had it, I wouldn't sell it, and I would hold it. Would I buy more? Yes, I would buy more, but I wouldn't buy a lot more because I'm just afraid it's a little too overvalued, you know? I'd rather see it back down in like, uh, the one 60s, 70s, you know, will we ever get there again? I don't know, we might, you know, you never know, but it wasn't long ago, believe it or not, we hit the high, but we also hit a low of 164 back in July of 22. So you see what I mean? You know, I think really, I mean, if you have to buy it, buy it, buy a little, I'd wait till it was back in like maybe the 170s. And if you can't wait, then buy some now. It's got a nice dividend. It's a solid company. Been around, let's see, a long time, not going anywhere. On the chart here, um, the stock market, they've got the results since um, January 1st of 85. So I mean, you know, the company's been around forever. It's not going anywhere. I think they're one of the only people who do what they do. And um, yeah, I think it's a real good company. It's good to buy now. I just wouldn't load the boat. I wouldn't load the boat. I think they're a little overvalued right now. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with that. So take that for what you will. Thank you so much for being here. I know this was a quick one, but it was easy. They're not all hard. Some of these are easy. So yeah, in my book, it's a buy. Just, just don't load the boat. Thank you so much for being here. Bless each and every one of you. It means the world to me. Peace.